Yes guys, welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see from the title and thumbnail, I'll be rating every single stadium in London. Obviously now that's teams from the Premier League to League 2. We did a challenge on Sam Chipek's video of trying to get to all of these stadiums in one day and I thought why not do a video of my own, put a little twist on it and actually rate each stadium and have them at the ranking at the end to see which is the best stadium and the worst stadium in London. What you're going to see throughout this whole video is cinematics of all the stadiums and my personal opinion on each each one then I give them a rating out of 10 and I'll put them in a table right at the end for you to see from best to worst but very quickly before we get into the first aim I just want to say the support on the channel has been insane recently and we are very close to 55,000 subscribers already but still 60% of you guys watching this are not subscribed to the channel so if you could do me a massive favor and press that red button down below I have an absolutely insane video hopefully coming out on Monday you do not want to miss so make sure to turn the notification bell on but let's get on in the video let's go right so we're starting by London Bridge it's nice great to start off obviously you've got central London over there there. The shard up behind me that way, and I think London Bridge is just in the background right there. Oh, what's what kind of view? But yeah, we're with Sam. Ready Hello, for the video? Guys. Hello. Are you looking forward to your challenge on your channel? Uh, I'm looking forward to my challenge. I'm also looking forward to seeing what ratings you're going to give it to stadiums. Uh, so it's a good little partnership, you see. Definitely. We're, Definitely. we're both doing a different video, which requires a lot of time. And, oh, the, um, the amount of planning that Sam yeah. put into this, this journey to work out where we're going and starting off of which stadium ended up where, like it's, it was a madness. So yeah, I think yeah. The, the journey's going to be pretty sick and hopefully uh, hopefully we get to see some nice stadiums and some new places on the way. Some new places, yeah, yeah. A lot, lot places, some new places. Even as Londoners, we wouldn't have seen half of the places we're about to go to. Mm. So I think it's about time we get started and we head on over to the, the first stadium. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, and obviously I forgot to say, we will be travelling safely, given by the guidelines. We've got our face mask, obviously. Absolute priority, wear a mask. mask. Exactly, and we've got, we've got hand sanitizer and all sorts, we'll be washing our hands, everything. We'll be oh. social distancing. We're, we're going to need to be washing our hands every time we touch a stadium. Oh yeah, definitely, well, especially if you go to the likes of I, West I Ham and Arsenal. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm, wiping, I'm wiping my foot on the wall like this. <laughs> I am not touching. I'm not no, using me my either. human contact form of a hand. <laughs> no, definitely not, no. Not but for me. Of course, we'll be travelling safely. Make sure you do as well if you're travelling around London or anywhere in the world. But let's get on into the journey. Right, so we made it to the first stadium and that is Millwall, the Den. We're here. We made it so let's go have a look at the stadium around us obviously we can't see the inside of it or anything and it's kind of restricted in terms of where we can go around the outside obviously it's a probably a terrifying place to go to on an away day yeah literally like pretty much the, the those football type films is what you literally feel like you're walking straight into football factory um so i think overall i think i'm probably gonna give it a six out of ten i mean six out of ten is not a bad rating but i reckon your rating would go up if we, it, yeah it, around, if we could walk further around see the whole thing exactly, we don't and go inside for that, exactly Exactly, yeah. yeah. I think if I could see the whole thing, it would be higher than that. But for now, I think I'm just going to get, I think I'm going to give it a six. Right. Well, let's get on to our next stadium. On to the next one. Right, so on to number two, and it is Charlton Athletic. Right at the valley. And this, uh, you know what? I actually quite like this anyway. I've been here once before. It was for a Sidemen charity football match. It wasn't for the actual Charlton game or anything oh, like that. Imagine vlogging a YouTube match. Oh, no, right. Well, <laughs> these YouTubers, eh? Um, but no, to be fair, like, on the inside, I remember it being actually like a pretty decent stadium. And I'm yeah. even looking at it now as we're walking through, um, it is like a proper football stadium it is what it is like it's, it's a, you definitely get a quality english english football vibe when you're coming through here yeah, obviously definitely. obviously the red is is not yeah, well, there's not nothing, nothing we can do about, about that. that. Yeah, that's their team. But you know, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to give this one. I'd say like a seven out of yeah. ten. I think oh, seven is no, like a fair, it, fair. It fair shouts man. football stadium. Definitely yeah. does. And even the inside, like it's, it's quite nice on the inside as well. Like it's a decent. Yeah. Like, they've got decent stands and that. So I think seven's fair. But um, yeah, on to our third stop. Let's go. So we made our way over to East London for stadium number three. And yeah, it's probably the worst one out of a lot. But as an Olympic stadium, world class. It's, it's just, unreal it's for the Olympics. Football stadium, but it is not a football stadium. But like I said, it, it's just a horrible football ground. And I don't even think West Ham fans even enjoy being here. You're trying to replace the reputation of what Upton Park brought you. And you replaced it with that, which is just a complete, a complete polar opposite. Yeah, they, they sold their soul for a... 
the whole thing. We're, we're ranking football stadiums. You know what? You know what? Stadiums. You know what? I'm not going to be nice at all. You're right. It's going to get a zero for me. Yeah, it's going to get right, a zero. Um, it's definitely going to be the bottom of the pile of London London Stadium. Millwall has a nicer ground than you, West Ham fans. So let that sink in. Let that sink in. Ooh, number four. Let's go. All right, Sam, we've made it to number four, Leighton Orient Football Club, a club that, that, I, that I like a lot. It's proper, it's, proper football club. Yeah, it's, it's fairly local to me. I think I only live like a 15 minute drive away from here, pretty much 20 minute drive. And uh, yeah, definitely a proper football club. But if we're talking about the stadium, I'm going to have to be harsh here. Yeah. They've got apartments like this surrounding the whole stadium. This is like the main entrance here, but you can see it from that side and it covers the whole way around. More of a, a fairly local team. I'm, I'm being a bit like, I'm, I'm a bit too close to it. So I'm, I'm going to be nice and give them before. All right, so we made it to the fifth destination and it is in South London at Crystal Palace's stadium, Selhurst Park, which I can't lie, it's, <laughs> it's probably it's weird. one of the, yeah, it's weird. It's probably, in my opinion, probably one of the worst stadiums in London. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give it a two out of 10 and, yeah. and I'll, I'll show you why you would have seen. I mean, just for starters, there's a Sainsbury's there. One Sainsbury's, two, just plain brick walls that genuinely like in my opinion makes it looks like a prison it makes it look like a prison they're also as well as an away fan it is horrible to come oh, here yeah. because i've horrible. done it i think three times now right so we're done now leaving crystal palace behind it is time to move on to the next south london team so back to the station we go let's go Right, so we made it to number six. We're still in South London and it is AFC Wimbledon. Can't lie, it's a bit Tim Port having no, the thing is, is someone what? else is branding all over your no, but that, stadium. That's the thing though as well. They're, 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 the quality of their branding you see everywhere around the stadium is in good condition. The actual AFC Wimbledon, it's like sticky. Yeah, it's really it's like off. everything's been scratched off. You do not honestly, you do not feel like you're here. And to be honest with you, it genuinely has, as you would have seen from the footage, quite a depressing vibe to it. But I'm gonna drop it down to a two purely because of the fact there's just no AFC like Wimbledon branding whatsoever. Um, so yeah, could do strange behaviour. I'm, I'm sure the new stadium will look great, but yeah, this is not not, not ideal, not ideal at all. On to the next one. Right, so we've got our first West London stadium, and we're here at Brentford's new ground. What's it called? Brentford's Community. Yeah, yeah, Brentford's Community Stadium. It's, stadium. it's not going to compare quite to Griffin Park, but. You know, it looks, it looks good on the outside. There's a thing, like, I think the outside, obviously, is, it's a very modern setting, very new. They're only moving into it very soon. Um, it, from the actual stadium itself, I think it looks really nice, as you've seen from it, because, obviously, the new modern look. I think the problems I have with it, it's quite literally stuck in the middle. I don't know if you can see, there's, like, the massive office block there. On the other side, you would have seen there's also new um, offices or flats going up there as well. But their seats are yellow and brown. Yellow and brown. I guess because you're saying that, what, a rugby team is sharing? Yeah, sharing rugby the ground? team is sharing it, I believe. So the fact that they've also got to share it with a rugby team as well. Yeah, that's the thing. So I think it's a good stadium in the sense of how it looks, just in terms of a new build. But the fact is, one, not their colours. Two, it's literally hidden in the middle of all these massive buildings and between the railway tracks. Everything into consideration, I think I'm going to give it like a five. Yeah, I think yeah, average, five. Av average, five out of ten. average works about at best. Anyway, we're done here with Brentford's new stadium. On to the next one. Right, and at our next West London stop, as you can see right behind me, is Fulham. Welcome back to the Premier League, by the way. We've got to have to move on to get to Chelsea next. So we're going to make a move very quickly. But yeah, just like in terms of the stadium, I think obviously this bit looks really nice. Kind of, um, it's got like an almost like an old, it doesn't even feel like a football stadium though. It's the thing right here. It's just got a nice, I guess it's got that West London feel to yeah. it. One thing I really don't like though, especially going to the away games, is that the away stand, which is like behind me here, around that corner, is, is basically fake. Like it was metal, like metal stairs and like metal grounds and stuff, which was... I don't like that personally. I don't think it's. I don't think it was great. Um, it wasn't amazing away day, but I can respect the fact that they kept the cottage there, on the other side. So, but I'm gonna say a solid probably uh, maybe like six out of ten. I think it's above average. It's a nice stadium in a nice area. Yeah, we'll give it a six out of ten. Be nice. Yeah, but obviously like the the the, the, the stand, the metal stand, mm, not really a big thing for me. So yeah, six out of ten. On to the next one. Right here, number nine again in West London. Chelsea Football Club. But obviously the area's nice, but that is just... Nah, nah, here are my Spurs. Nice little Spurs jersey as well, just, you know, me and Mark, but... To be we're we're you, marking our territory here. To be honest with you, I don't care what the comments say, you will say this, it's gonna be biased. I don't care, I'm giving it a three out of 10. I'm giving it a two out of 10. Two out of 10, damn, he's on one better than me. Yeah, we need to quickly move on to the next one anyway, which is the final one in West London, yeah, but right. yeah. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother talking about it or whatever, it's Chelsea, three out of 10, that'll do. Right, very quickly, because obviously we don't have much time. This is the last one in West London, and it is obviously QPR. From what I can just base off here, 
it's not great. I mean, they've it's got, like they've got yeah, many, yeah. many trophy fishes in the window there, which is a bit... <laughs> From here, it looks like a warehouse in the middle of like some estate. So it's not really that attractive. Obviously, we can only really see this side. So to be honest with you, of the knowledge I have, I'm gonna have to give it like a four out of 10. Would you agree or disagree? What would you say? What, do you... Three out of ten. It looks like an IKEA store without the yellow. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's hard to say. But anyway, we have to get on because we've got four more left. Let's go. Right, so we, we skipped that Watford because technically it's Hertfordshire. It's not it's not London. Um, it's not it's not London. Full stop. It's not London. I'll tell you what's London though. The best stadium in the world. Oh, that's right. Jeez, look at that bad boy. Hey, oh. I, I ain't got time for Elton John and now I've got more time for what Daniel Levy. <laughs> Levy in. Anik in. I tell you what, it makes it makes me sad to see like we're here, but we can't go inside to watch a game of football. Come on now, let's be real. Am I gonna give it anything but 10 out of 10? Oh, 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 I give it 11. 11. Out of 10. Woo, you're going over the max. 11 out of 10, best stadium in Europe, best stadium in the world in my opinion. Obviously I'm going to be a bit biased as a Spurs fan, but I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely do think it is one of the best stadiums in the world. Like the facilities are unreal. Two more to go. The next one, as you could probably guess, is... Um, I prefer not to even say the I, word. I prefer not to speak, but anyway, we'll head on to it. I'm going to say goodbye to this beauty and we'll get on our way to no, the wait, next wait, one. wait, we got a bow down for it. <laughs> <laughs> Insane, let's go. <sighs> Yep, we had to do it. That's why we got the face mask on, because it smells around here. Yeah, Just face mask important. You know what, I don't even need to talk about it. It quite literally is a one out of 10. Yeah. The only reason it's one better than West Ham is because at least you can see the pitch on the seats. Yeah. Apart from that, smelly club. You can say bias all you want. I'm a Spurs fan. That's what I'm going to say is it's a yeah. horrible, horrible stadium. You're giving it a one us. out of 10, I'm giving it a zero out of 10. Yeah, no, minus one. Minus one out of 10. They, they owe us points just for being here. That's it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's it. We, we want to get out of here as quick as possible. So that's what I was going to say. Yeah. One out of ten. Now, come on. You think I was really going to leave you with Arsenal as the last stadium? Not a chance. We have finished this off with none other than the National Stadium, Wembley. Okay. Look at that. Tottenham the golden home. Home. Tottenham Tottenham second home. We were here for what, two years or a year yeah. and a half at least? Look at that. <laughs> we made it to finish off Done it. the four, what was it, 14 hour journey in the end. Absolutely smashed it. Why don't, if you want to see the full journey, obviously head over to Sam's channel because that's where the, how, we, how we got around places. There's even a few surprise ways we got around to get to a few of the stadiums. Yeah, so you if, you want to know, if you want to know the details of that, then definitely make sure to check that video out. But obviously we're here to rank the stadiums, to rate them. Wembley Stadium, for me personally, I would say a nine out of 10. I think the only thing is, it's not amazing for club football because obviously like you're kind of a, a little bit far from the ground. It's maybe, yeah. it's maybe too many seats for club football because it's hard to generate an atmosphere. But when the England games and obviously loads of England fans here, it's rocking. And um, I think it's a great, I think it's just a great football stadium in general. It's iconic as well. So in my opinion, nine out of 10. You know what? I agree with you for once. You agree? Video. Nine out of 10. Hey, let's nine go. Out of 10. Good way to end the video. Good way to end on a nine out of 10. Obviously, like I said, make sure to check out Sam's video, but let's get on into the table to see the full ratings of all the stadiums in London. See you then. Well, there you have it. Here's the table of all of the London stadiums we visited in order of my rating. Now, of course, guys, there's going to be some bias in this, but what can you expect? Like, I, I support Spurs. It is what it is, all right? But yeah, this is just my personal opinion, so let me know in the comment section down below what you would rate each stadium, and let me know if you want to see more challenges like this going forward, because I really, really enjoyed this. And as well as that, if you want to see how we got around the stadiums, then make sure to go watch Sam's video right now. I'll leave a link in the description. It was very entertaining on how we got around to, uh, to some of the stadium so definitely worth a watch and don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to be inside the 100k club because we're going to be doing a big push for the silver plaque over the next year so make sure to be a part of the killing army or press and subscribe below and i shall see you guys for monday's banger peace no there ain't no stopping us fly without boarding pass couldn't catch me i'll be moving fast call me a shooting star